Hey y'all, it's Cade. So this week's topic is based on like love and self-love. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with how we, sorry, I had to get my Coca-Cola, um, how we dated and how we loved during or after or before our transitions, um, focusing on ourselves. So this is an interesting topic for me, especially because uh, now I identify as a straight man, but before that I was identifying as a uh, lesbian, so uh, only was interested in women. However, um, I would say that something must have like, I don't know, I never went after anyone that ever identified as a lesbian. So um, all of my past relationships, um, except for my very first one, were all with, um, straight women. Um, and I always thought that that may <laughs> have been a little weird, but I think looking back on it now, um, I saw myself as a guy even before I knew that I was going to transition and knew I was going to come out as trans. I saw myself as a male, so therefore when I sought out women, it never occurred to me to date women that were interested in women. It was always that I wanted to be with a straight woman because in my head, I, I knew I was a guy and that was the role that I wanted to fi like fulfill. So, um, definitely dating as a person who had not transitioned that was very tricky. Um, my first, my first relationship was with, um, my first, well, just my first relationship with a woman, um, what, she was a lesbian, is a lesbian, I believe she's engaged now, um, to another woman, but, uh, it was in high school, it was my very first, like, you know, big, big endeavor with a woman, um, so that was my first one. That didn't last long. She was still hung up on her ex, uh, and I fell in love with her. I fell hard. I fell quick, and then she was still into her ex. Um, so that just didn't didn't work out. It was a good experience though for me because I needed that first break to realize that yes, I was into women, and uh, that was definitely right. So, um, but other than that, all my relationships have been with straight women. Um, my next biggest relationship after that was really wonky. Um, I call her my ex. I don't know if really that's what we should define. We were best friends um, that ended up having feelings for each other. It was odd for her um, because she had never been with a, a female before or a female-bodied person before. And um, I had never been with a straight woman before. Um, I'd had some experimenting between then and my first girlfriend with other straight women, but never something serious where I'd fallen in love. So then when I fell in love with, we'll just refer to her as my ex, uh, it was challenging because she wasn't into women. And um, so it was just a big, a big thing, but we lived together and I was in love with her. So that made things complicated because she wasn't as invested as I was into our, our relationship, whatever that was. Um, but I never saw myself really as a girl in that relationship. Um, and I think that's why it was so hard for me to accept the fact that she was dating other guys and doing other things, um, because I didn't realize why I wasn't enough. Um, come to find out now, I realize it wasn't, it wasn't her fault. You know, things, things happened and relationships were different, but, um, definitely have always, um, at least in my dating life, seen myself as a male and as masculine presenting in all my roles um, in my relationships. Um, with my current partner, my fiance now, um, when we met, I was I was identifying as as gender queer, um, but I was still presenting and going by feminine names and pronouns. So when we started dating, um, she actually my current girlfriend actually. I don't know if we'd say got kicked out of our house, but her her and her mother got into a, an altercation, um, and it, I think it was solely based on the fact that I was a female, and she didn't want her daughter dating another female. Um, you know, there's always going to be bigotry in the world or ignorance when you don't understand something. So that was a challenge at first, and it's 
odd because our relationship has kind of 180 since then because now I do identify as, as male and I think I always have. Even when we first started talking, I was binding and I let her know that I was insecure about my gender and things like that, but I was still prisoning in the world as a female. So that was definitely something, um, or that has always been something um, that has been challenging for me is, is dating before transitioning. Um, just because I was still perceived as a woman, and although in my head I was a dude, and I was fulfilling the masculine roles, there was still so much of that that was, um, you know, society didn't understand or see, and so then I was classified as a lesbian, and that wasn't really accurate either. So, dating as a trans guy, especially pre-transition, is, is difficult, and I, I assume it's going to be different for everyone, um, but my relationship with myself during dating was was very different than I think what other trans guys may have experienced um since I only dated straight women now as far as dating now that I am transitioning I don't have a lot to talk about because I've been with the same woman for five years um and we're in love and she's been with me through my whole transition so far. Um, I mean, I've only started my transition five months ago, so I still have a long, a long way to go, but um, I was questioning my gender when we first got together. I was binding um, and you know, it took a long time for us to get there, but as soon as I told her I wanted to transition, I wanted to do it, she was supportive. Um, so it definitely helped to have a partner that I think had only ever been with men too, because I don't think she saw me as gender. She just saw me as a person, um, which really, really helped. So then when I told her I did want to finally take that step and transition, it was just, it was normal. It was another thing. And I don't think a lot has changed with my personality or anything since being on T. Um, obviously physically I'm going to change. Um, and I, I assume that some other things like mood will change, but overall I'm still the same person, which is pretty cool. Um, because for her, you know, it's, she's still dating the same person. I just may present a little differently than what society has seen, even though to her I'm the same person. So that's been something really cool. But love in general, when you're, you know, transitioning has always been, you know, something different. I, I know that I personally have sought out, um, dating straight women or straight women rather. Um, and I don't think I did that intentionally. And I didn't realize until I was recording this video exactly what I was going to say. Um, but now it kind of all makes a lot more sense. Uh, I was dating only straight women because I just assumed in my head I was a dude. Um, or, or that masculine energy in a relationship. Not that you have to have masculine energy in a relationship, but in my head, that's what I saw, was that I wanted to be the masculine energy in my relationship. So dating as a trans person that is not transitioning yet can be hard. And I didn't realize um, that I had so much to, to contribute talking about that until just now, but yeah, definitely, definitely a lot of self-doubt in relationships like that, though. You have to be with the right person. Um, I always thought there was something wrong with me in my last relationship or that I wasn't masculine enough, um, but really, we just weren't meant to be, um, and I think a part of that was that I fell in love with my best friend, and that's dangerous because we broke a boundary that we shouldn't have broken, um, and that probably caused a lot more turmoil and I also fell in love with her and I shouldn't have. And that, that broke a boundary as well. Um, I think we still would be friends if, if we hadn't gone there. Um, because our energies just connected in that way. But yeah, dating as a trans person is definitely hard. And then finding self-love and acceptance as, as a trans person, not transitioning yet. That's very hard. But, um, Love is complicated no matter what kind of relationship you're in. Um, but I think the new dynamic for it is, you know, especially if you're not transitioning yet, is just, just be honest and be vulnerable. Um, and if your partner loves you, then it's not going to matter, you know, what you look like, what you have between your pants, what you don't. It's a literally just going to be about falling in love with that person. And I think that's why um, my relationship with my current partner is working so well is because I feel loved and validated and I didn't have to do anything different to to get to that point. Um, 
yeah, that's m mostly what I have on this week's topic of love and acceptance um, in dating. But I think that's mostly mostly what I have. But just just take away from this if you take away anything is that your your worth, uh, your self worth, your self love is not based on what someone else sees in you. If you identify as a man, then you can you can identify as a man and be into straight women or you don't have to identify as anything at all either. And I think I had so much pressure put on me about labels. I had to be a butch lesbian and I had to be a lesbian because I liked women and I was, you know, female bodied, but that's not the case. I, I can identify and be what I am without having society put a label on it. So that would be my biggest takeaway from, from dating. Um, and, and self-love too. You have to learn to love yourself when you're in a relationship. And I think so much of, if I could have my brain that I have now and put it in my younger self, I, the knowledge, the knowledge, the things I would not have done because I knew the, the consequences. And you know, that's, that's how you learn is you make mistakes and you mess up. But I think, I think I learned a lot because of my transition in dating as a trans person. Also, other other things I wanted to talk about. I want I don't want to make this video too long, but you have to think when you're when you're dating, especially as a uh, person that hasn't transitioned yet or is new into your transition. There are going to be things about yourself that not everyone is going to accept. Not everyone you try to talk to is going to be okay with the fact that you're trans, and that's okay. Not every person that you talk to is going to want to date you because you're trans and you're short, and that's okay. If you're looking to date someone and they don't accept you for who you are, exactly who you are, then it's not worth it. Um, and I think it's very important.